Welcome to All Sports YouTube channel. Today you will find a review of the fight, in which there was a real lawlessness in the ring. I'm sure you must like it. Let's go. It was the 48th battle of the great Muhammad Ali. His opponent in this fight was Chuck Wepner. Chuck Wepner began boxing in the U.S. Marine where he became a member of the boxing team. Wepner's boxing technique was completely absent, but he had an indomitable fighting spirit and a desire to fight. Wepner was nicknamed, the Bayonne Bleeder, because he came out of almost all of his fights covered in blood. After the fight with Sonny Liston, he received about 120 stitches. He knows now that the writing is on the wall, that face is a terrible, terrible mess. And the doctor's going over towards the corner. Prior to the fight, Wepner told his manager, Ali is the king of boxing, whereupon the manager responded with, Yeah, yeah, Chuck, but in the ring you're the king of dirty fighting. You're both royalty. And so the fight began. Ali, as always, began to flutter on his feet. Wepner did not feel the distance at all. However, as soon as Wepner came into close range, he began to hit Ali on the back of the head. Ali testified that he was hit in the back of the head, but the referee did not react to this, and Wepner continued to attack the back of the head. Then Ali decided to fight Wepner according to his rules and also delivered a series of blows to the back of the head. However, he received a warning from the referee. Literally a minute later, Wepner again strikes at the back of the head. It may seem that Chuck was hitting the back of the head on purpose, but personally I don't think that's the case. Look at how he strikes. The impression is that he does not hit but pushes. Seeing such a fight on the street, I would never have thought that a person who delivers such blows is a boxer. In my opinion, in this fight, Wepner did not have a single chance to defeat Muhammad Ali, since he simply did not have the appropriate arsenal. He did not feel the distance at all, and his blows were too sweeping and slow to reach the goal. However, he continued to strike at the back of the head. The referee completely ignored the entire violation by Wepner. The referee who judged this fight was Tony Perez. In 1982 he would give an explanation why he did not stop the fight Kawi vs. Martin fight. And in 1991, his incompetence almost killed Tommy Morrison in a fight with Ray Mercer. Ali realized that in this fight it was useless to turn to the referee, and began to look for ways to counter these crazy blows from Chuck Wepner. And he seems to have found a way. When Wepner closed the distance, Ali blocked his hand with his forearm, and also placed his hand on Chapner's neck, thus preventing him from striking the back of the head. In terms of refereeing, this fight was just kind of crazy. We must pay tribute to Wepner. By the beginning of the fifth round, he missed just an incredible number of jabs, 
but as a stubborn bulldog he went to his opponent without taking a single step back. From the seventh round, Muhammad Ali begins to move more on his feet and tries to avoid the clinch. At the end of the eighth round, the lawlessness that is happening in the ring reaches its climax. Chuck off balance kicks Muhammad Ali, but the referee, as before, does not see anything. It seems to me that if someone threw a ball into the boxing ring and Ali and Wepner started playing football, the referee would not even pay attention. In the ninth round, Chuck steps on Ali's leg and strikes, Ali falls and the referee starts counting the knockdown. Ali does not even try to argue with the referee, as he understands that it is useless. Starting from the 10th round, the total beating of Chuck Wepner begins. It seems completely unbelievable that after so many missed punches, Chuck not only stays on his feet, but also constantly steps on his opponent. In the last round, Ali's desire to end this fight ahead of schedule was evident. Perhaps he was very angry at Chuck because of the dirty blows to the back of the head, or perhaps his ego was a little affected by the fact that Chuck Wepner, who was a regular middle-class fighter, lasted against the legend for 14 rounds. Finally, after another series of strikes by Ali in the 15th round, the fight was over. But the most mood elevating moment in this fight occurred after it was over, when one of Chuck Wepner's seconds accidentally splashed water in the referee's face. At least a small punishment for disgusting and incompetent refereeing. It is said that this fight with its backstory inspired Sylvester Stallone to write the script for the film Rocky. After this fight, nothing has changed. Muhammad Ali continued to beat his opponents. Referee Tony Perez continued to incompetently judge other fights. And only Chuck Wepner truly believes and is proud that he was able to knock down the greatest boxer of all time.